Hi everyone, it's Laura with King's Creatures Animal Training and today we're going to be talking about holiday stuffing for dogs. So really what we're talking about is how to fill a Kong with some tasty holiday treats for your pup. So to start off, we're going to use a squash. It can really be any kind of squash. Tonight I made spaghetti squash for dinner, so that's what you'll see here. So pick out your squash and then get it cooking. I like to put mine in the Instant Pot or sometimes in the oven, whatever you like. Just get that squash cooking so it can be nice and soft later on. While you're doing that, you're going to put a little bit of kibble in a bowl. If your dog eats raw food, you could always just use treats or even a little bit of raw in the bowl. And then we're going to add some water. And then we're also going to add a spoonful of yogurt to that. And then we're going to mix it up nice and good so it's all mixed together and looks milky and kind of gross. And then we're going to leave it to sit until the kibbles soak up all of that water and yogurt. If you have homemade broth, you could also use that in place of the water. But we just want to make sure it's sodium free because our pets can't even handle as much sodium as we can. Once your squash is completely cooked, you're going to chop it up and eat it, do whatever you want with it, turn it into soup. For us, we again use spaghetti squash today, so we used it just as spaghetti with spaghetti sauce and meatballs. And once you've processed your squash, you're probably going to have some scraps left over. I usually have more when I do butternut squash, but today some of the ends of my spaghetti squash didn't want to come out. So we just saved those scraps and we stuffed them into the Kong. So you can see here that the Kong has a little bit of spaghetti squash in it. And then we filled the rest of the Kong with that mushy kibble mix and stuff it all the way to the brim. It's going to get messy, so make sure you're ready to hold it over the bowl if any liquids leak out or be prepared to get some gunk on your hands. And you stuff that Kong nice and full. And then you repeat with all of your scraps and all of your kibble mush. If you have a bunch of Kongs like I do, you can make a big batch. If you don't have so many Kongs, just make sure you don't soak so much kibble in the beginning. Once they're all full, we put them in a bowl and freeze them. Once they're frozen, it's a lot harder for your dog to get the stuff out of them, so they'll spend more time on it. Throughout the holiday season, when I'm preparing things, baking, cooking, you name it, I set aside a few scraps and stuff a few Kongs each day. So then when we get to the holidays, I have a bunch already prepared in the freezer. That way, if I have family over or if we're leaving for a while to go to a holiday party, I can give my dogs a Kong and it entertains them. They get a yummy treat and it's healthy. It's not very many calories, but they have something to focus on and to put their energy into instead of worrying about everybody else at my house or worrying about the fact that I'm gone visiting somebody else. So this is just the first tip of many that we're going to cover this week. If you want to learn more tips already, you can head to my blog at this web address, holidays.kingscreatures.com, to read all of my holiday posts with treats and tips and training tricks to help you get through the holidays. But that's all for tonight. I'll tune in tomorrow with some more tips.